see we get to the end, but that's where we begin. You feel it? Mannequins and we breaking the mold. Breaking out and we breaking the codes. Similar to the jack who stole to the depths in your web, so you take explosive. Get it. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? This is Joe's McFly right now. And you up with a reaction video. Right now, the Yankees are winning 6 to 3. Oh my god, this video is so freaking dark right now. Yo, man, I'll tell you right now, Yankees need to win this game right here, and I need Joe to manage from here on out. He just, he, he took out Tanaka, he brought in Chad Green. Good job. Tanaka gave out a, a bomb to Bautista. Can't play. Oh, what's going on here? All right, so he can't play around right now, man. We need this game bad. Like, Need to stop this losing streak. It's not even really that much of a losing streak, but we can't be losing to these bums. Like we can't lose a series to these bums, no way. So if Joe needed to take out Tanaka, and I don't care if it's six runs, and he was about to get a win, I don't give a shit, man. Ain't no time for all that shit no more, man. Maybe if you pitch a little better, you walk less people. You fucking, you got a twenty pitch first inning. It was all over the place, really. Um, of course, you know. It, it, one inning, I mean, they weren't really scoring against him. The only really hard hit run score was that home run, but um, Joe got to manage just like his game seven right now, boy, because Tampa Bay, for some reason, becomes a big ass piece of shit when they're facing the Red Sox, but against us, they want to act like that team that went to the World Series. Oh my God, yo, that team is so annoying, yo. You play in a bullshit ass stadium and you you beat the shit out of the Yankees when they're, in the, when they're in that stadium. You give them a tough time and you roll over against the fucking Red Sox. Whatever, yo. These guys are just ridiculous, yo. Like, what kind of Mickey Mouse operation you guys are running down there in Tampa, man? Seriously. But whatever, yo. We gotta take care of business here against these bums in Toronto. This game has been a lot better offensively to this point right now. Uh, we actually got some hits with runners in scoring position. I'll get into that in a second. But the first three runs were all on solo home runs. And then I said, I said this on Twitter. Exactly. Why? Why? Why wait? Bro, if you're going to score these runs, who cares, bro? Just do it with nobody on base. You can't leave runners on base if there's nobody on. But, you know, whatever. Of course, that still kept the door open for, for, for the Blue Jays. So, right now, they're only down three runs right now, as you speak. So, um... Yankees got to create some more separation, but that time, uh, you know, Gary Sanchez, he struck out with runners on second and third. Basically, purposely trying to go out of his way to, like, continue this ro uh, runners in scoring position failure. And you know what? Todd Frazier, Todd Father, he's had a rough go here, man, coming here. Hopefully he gets comfortable and starts playing well, but... Todd Frazier hits a clutch, probably a huge hit, huge, double to score those two runs, man, and then um, another double followed by Jacoby Ellsbury, and that was, I mean, that was great. That was like Nirvana for me, man. Whatever, we just got to keep the pen out there. I would keep Chad Green out there and then get the ball directly from Chad Green. This is going to be the formula right here. It's going to be... Chad Green, right now, take the ball straight to Dylan Batanzas, to Robertson, and then to Chapman. And then if Green gets in trouble, Warren needs to be available. All hands on deck today, baby. Game seven. Let's go. Oh, my God, man. Why can't it just be easy? Freaking double, man, to goings, man. Oh, my God, I swear, yo. We better not lose this damn game, yo. Uh, you know what? Let me not even say anything. Let me not even say anything remotely close to that. So, Kaylee, who never walks anybody, comes in right now and is 3-0 to this freaking batter, the first batter he faces. And... 
there was a wild pitch, which I, I'm not seeing right now, so I don't know if it was Gary's fault or not, but I'm gonna see later. Come on, Kaylee, right here. There's the 3 2 to Lopez. And he missed. So Lopez walks. Oh. Uh, this guy never walks anybody, man. Never walks anybody. How awesome is this? Bautista is batting with runners on first and third. Oh my God, thank God. Come on, Donaldson's the guy you gotta get out right here. What the fuck, man? Get some out! Like, what the hell, man? When it's not the hitting, it's the pitching. What's going on with this team, man? I'm convinced they're doing this to me on purpose. It's never enough. Never enough. Oh my God, Yankees need to score like 40 runs today. They need to score like 40 freaking runs to win this game. I don't know. You lose the two to one game. You lose the one to zero game. You lose the freaking, the, you up, you got freaking six runs. You still lose the game. I, don't, I just don't understand. It's like you're springing leaks all over the place. One outfield is about to come off the DL. Another one gets fucking hurt. One pitcher gets traded for. Another one gets hurt. It's like, what the hell is going on with this team? We haven't had the whole line to play all together all year. Oh, my God, yo. I, I don't know, man. This, all this frustration better lead to a freaking World Series, man. Like, seriously. It has to. It's only justice. Todd Frazier just got another hit right before I left the car. So, you got three hits tonight, man. He has three hits. That was a great job, man. Like I said, I, I hope that he is breaking out of it because I want to get something out of the corners. And Oh, one thing I didn't talk about. It's a little exciting. Of course, Hicks is supposed to come back on Friday. Uh, Greg Bird and we have um, Starling Castro on their way back. However, it looks like from what they were saying, Bird is actually progressing at a rate that they did not expect. And we could get Bird, man, get a left hand in Yankee Stadium, that power bat. And apparently, he was hitting moonshots in batting practice today. So if we could get him back, man, whoo, yes. Let's go, my man Cooper with a double right here, man. Hanging with Mr. Coop right here. Three hits for him too, man. You got Torres up, right? So Torres is able to, let's see what he does here. So, hmm. let's see. Come on, Toe. Come on, Toe. Infield in. Right up the middle, baby. Let's go. Contact hitters are the best. Insane. To now push it to 8-5. Yankees could kind of breathe easy just a little bit there. But um, that was a big hit by Torres right there. Yankees had a couple of big hits in this game, man. We've been giving them shit for the runners to scoring position thing, but they had some big hits today, man. They did. Yo, the Yankees are scoring today, and they are getting hits with runners in scoring position. Four hits for hanging with Mr. Cooper. 11 to five versus these bum ass Jays right here, man. Yes, man, Yankees win today, man. Good, good, good job, man. Made me nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Made me a little bit nervous there. They were able to pull this game out, able to get some clutch hits there, and um, the Yankees win a very, very, very important game. Losing this series to the Jays would have been horrible. I thought the biggest hit of the game was 
Um, uh, definitely Todd Frazier with the double that he hit in the gap. I mean, all of the hits with runners in scoring position were great today. Cool. But 11-5, Yankees have not scored this many runs since June 10th. Since was the last time that the Yankees were good. So let's make the Yankees good again. And um, let's go, man. We getting Hicks back on Friday. It's um, some good shit right here. And uh, Red Sox won already, but we can't worry about them until this weekend. Then we could really take care of uh take care of them right in front of us but you know um for the most part it was a close game tanaka came out and i don't know what the hell is going on with him he only gave up if you really look tanaka only gave up two hits today two hits three runs but five freaking walks five and that's uncharacteristic for tanaka even with his issues this year he still has not really walked batters so he was off today, but you got to give him credit for battling. They give up that home run to Bautista, which is a obligatory home run, as he's been giving up home runs all year. That's got nothing really more to say about this game. Yankees pound out 17 freaking hits. 17! Man, it was the last time. I don't even remember the last time Yankees had 17. It's been a while. So, it's good to have. I said before, Yankees need a laugher, but this wasn't a laugher. This, if you look at the box score, you're going to say, oh, it's a laugher. But right now, it's not a laugher. Because I was not laughing earlier, as you guys seen in the freaking video. I was upset. Great game by Coop and great game by Didi. And uh, the only person that did not get a hit today was Aaron Judge. Uh, he did extend his strikeout streak. So good job there, Aaron Judge. Striking out in 26 straight games. Great job. Todd Frazier today did a good job. Ended up getting, you know, um, three hits, three for four, you know, with his home run, 19th home run. That was good. He left the game, but I think it was more precautionary. So, uh, Cooper, who wasn't even supposed to play today, like I said, ended up getting four freaking hits. So, it was a great job, man. I didn't record today's thing with uh, my actual camera because, honestly, I'm going to have to buy the... Uh, video editing software. I tried to do it on the computer with my other video editing software and Bro, I was there till like 4 o'clock in the morning trying to do that shit. So it was a problem. So um, I'm going to hold off on my camera until I can get that. I'll probably get it this weekend. So i uh, go from there. But uh, great game today. On tomorrow. Who the hell is pitching tomorrow? That is a great question. Who do the Yankees have for tomorrow? I'm sure it's somebody that we can all have confidence in. So it is Sunny Gray tomorrow. It's Gray Day. It's old Sunny Day against Estrada, who has a 5.12 ERA. But the Yankees, for some reason, end up striking out on his changeup. Might be a long-ass day for Judge tomorrow. As I always say, guys... Make sure you do keep the pinstripes on, keep the pinstripes strong, and let's go Yankees, man. Ty's going to turn. It's going to turn this weekend against these freaking Red Sox, man. They're going to come into our house, right? They're going to think they're flying high, and we're going to chill them out with all that fire. All right? You get your desire when I retire. Let's go. And then, of course, after that, we face the bum-ass Mets, who the Mets traded Jay Bruce to the Indians because the Yankees, the Yankees were actually giving up better prospects, multiple prospects. They got a bum from the Indians because the Indians said, we're going to pay Jay Bruce's whole salary. Yankees are like, all right, we'll pay some of it, not all of it. So the Mets and the Will Ponzi's cheap ass did not want to take better prospects because they wanted to save money. That team deserves everything bad happening to them, whatever. That's the, probably the last time until next week that I'll probably mention the the, the freaking uh, the, yeah. the Metropolitans on this freaking vlog. So, whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah, man. Let's go Yankees, man. Peace.